Thanks a lot, Anna Muzichuk and Hampi Cornero, to join me after this uh, draw uh, between the two of you. There was a, a, a nice, interesting moment in this game when uh, when you took on a7, and then your two bishops started being on a7 and b7. Um, how was it objectively? Objectively, we don't know because we have to check that. <laughs> but I believe it must be good for white. Uh, somehow, I think that uh, black shouldn't have played like that, but uh, I don't know. Maybe the critical moment was when I played rook d2. I think a4 was better. Conero, what's your opinion about uh, this uh, taking a pawn on a7? I think it's, uh, it seems to be playable because uh, there was no clear trap for the bishop because of this light squared uh, bishop uh, in the diagonal. Uh, at one point I was offering uh, the rook like uh, with bishop c6 I go king e7 and that position is like with two bishops and white is having a one pawn extra on the queen side. I think that's a very interesting position for practical just but what what happened in the game was like I think more uh, I don't see anything uh, much because even if I try to plan something then there are certain positions where c4 c5 threats are coming so I'm kind of forced to repeat the moves. Anna did you feel a little bit like, like Bobby Fischer taking uh, this uh, outside pawn reminding of course his game against uh, Boris Pasky from the World Championship match? Uh, well, I'm familiar with the game, of course, but uh, I didn't think about it during the game. I was just trying to calculate uh, as precise as I could, and because if it works, you're winning. So.